Welcome back, this is Inc. In today's problem, we're given the following circuit and are asked to find the following information. We can find this by graphical approximation and by doing this, we would like to know the load line equation. The load line equation for a diode is VD for a PN junction diode is VD equals V Thevenin minus ID R Thevenin. So the load light equation is a Thevenin equivalent connected to the diode. We can then find, first of all, let's find R Thevenin, V Thevenin and R Thevenin. So V Thevenin, in this case, we're dealing with section A. V Thevenin is the voltage across the two Ohm's resistor, the R2 resistor, and that is VB times the resistor that we want the voltage across, which is R2, plus the total resistance, R1 plus R2. V Thevenin is then equal to 2.73 volts. We then find R Thevenin. R Thevenin is equal to, if we short out the voltage, the voltage source, we can then find R Thevenin R Thevenin is R1 in parallel with R2. And that is equal to 2.13 kilo ohms. We can then say the short circuit, let's, before we find the short circuit current, let's simplify the load line equation for ID. So ID now becomes negative 1 over R Theven, which is the slope of the load line equation, times VD, VD is X, plus V Thevenin over R Thevenin. This is the Y intercept, which is going to be the short circuit current. This is the slope of the load line. In this case, we can then say the short circuit current for a is equal to V Thevenin over R Thevenin, which is equal to 1.28 milliamps. One point two eight, one point two eight milliamps. Before that, that is well let's find now, let's find we need in this case, let's find V D. For A, so VD for A is equal to V Thevenin minus, well, not VD. Let's find ID in this case. So ID in this case is equal to V Thevenin minus VD all over R Thevenin and that is equal to 0 0.00099 something and that is equal to approximately 1 milliampere. And that is ID. Knowing that we can then move to section B, but before we move to section B, let us just draw the graph. So Y intercept, we have ID, or Y axis, we have ID in milliamps, X, we have VD. The load line equation, the VI char characteristic for the diode looks something like this. And if these diode turn on voltage is 0.6 or 0.7, we can say the first point in this case would be 0 0.6. And we know that the Y intercept is going to be the short circuit current, which is V Thevenin over R Thevenin. In this case, we have a load line. similar to that with a negative slope. This is the operating point of the load line equation. 
which is going to be the turn on voltage at 0.6 and the Y, the current of the diode in this case, this is 0.6 volts and ID with a current of one milliamp. We then move to B. Let's get rid of this. So for B, if VB is increased to 10 volt, what does ID become? And if VB is equal to 10 volt, we can then do the same thing. So V7 in this case is equal to VB at 10 volt, same voltage division, R2, R1 plus R2. And that is equal to 5.47 volts. R7 in, in this case, be the same thing. And by having R7 in equal R7 in A equal R7 in, in B, we then find the short circuit current. And that is V7 in over R7 in. And in this case, the short circuit current is going to be 2.57. Two point five seven milliamp, and then the operating point in this case, we know that the short circuit current is going to increase. So, and thus we have V seven and R seven and for B, for A, and that is at two point seven five, and we know that the seven and voltage is somewhere out here. In this case, in, so let's make this clear too. This is at 2.73 for the first 7 and voltage, and this is at 5.47 volts. So the load line equation now looks something like that. And this is a approximate solution. So I think we need, I think we need to move the 0.6 a little bit here because this was the turn on voltage and we move something from here to here we it's approximate so we could say 6.67 and by saying that this load line will now become 0.67 volt and finding ID do the same thing. ID is equal to V7 in minus VD all over R7 in, and this is V7 in B, and that is going to equal to 2.3 something milliampere. In this case, the operating point, in this case, it would be 2.3 approximately 2.3 milliamp for I. Thus, for ID, thus we then move to C. And in C, if the direction of the bio, th if the direction of the diode is reverse, so that the arrow is pointing downward, upward, what is VD and ID? So we know that in this case, current does not flow in that direction, in the reverse direction. So we can say current flows, but it's too small to be picked up on an oscilloscope or something. So it's negligible. So we just call it that current doesn't flow. So in this case, we can say if the diode is reversed, that means VD is equal to V7. And that is going to equal, so for instance, if if VB is 5 volt, that is going to equal to negative 2.73 volts. And ID is negligible, so it's approximately zero. 
zero m and this is for section c and that's it see you in the next problem bye